Now, listen, you guys, it does seem like it is chaos in the hip hop streets. So, right from Bia coming for the Transformer, as well as, um, you know, Drake being, I don't know, ganged up on by J. Cole, by, um, you know, The Weeknd, by Asap Rocky. Oh my goodness, I said Asap Rocky. Oh my goodness, Ali, do you hear that? But anyway, hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea vlog. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing extremely amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all you guys we are going to talk about bia bia okay now i've often said on this channel that bia really does write her own stuff and she's not the one to play with okay when it comes to her pen pen game it actually does work okay and if you guys do remember in my previous video i did tell you that well they were saying that well bia is actually actually going to be serving some lashings towards the transformer it seems like well that has actually um you know come to pass as uh bia was out there giving it to the transformer and honestly speaking i'm not surprised because i mean previously the two of them have been going um you know back and forth with each other okay now this is what bia had to say on of course one of the tricks that she was featured on and that is the beach da remix she said um how you say you're running down and can't walk on the beat i know i had an op because she don't say ish to me and then she said i could never turn my phone on just to cry on the live okay and you guys do know obviously who she was referring to looking at all those things the girls have been going back and forth and you do know that well the transformer is well known for going um you know a totally different um you know direction um literally running sprinting against the beat <laughs> that reminds me you guys that reminds me of someone who was talking about you know nigerian proverbs now if you guys have nigerian friends or like nigerian workmen you probably know that these guys love philosophy okay like literally someone will come up with the philosophy about like the simplest thing and you're like oh and they will make anything sound wise i'm telling you like a nigerian person will literally tell you to go sit down and you know after they tell you that you're like oh my goodness what a great philosopher they are do you get what i'm saying so it does seem like like that proverb that i had from um you know a nigerian person it does seem like well uh you know when she's rapping when the transformer is rapping it seems like well the beat the beat is actually chasing her but then she's running faster she's always running faster and what that means is that they will never get to clash okay she's way way ahead and the beat is following behind her <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you guys so this is what Bia had to say about um you know the transformer obviously and as for crying on live we all know that um you know who goes on uh, live each and every time that they have an issue a marital issue we do know that who's out there quick to go on live cry about everything each time somebody um you know has a difference with them or they get into an argument quick to run on the internet press on the live button <laughs> look for sympathy we all know who does that <laughs> So obviously, um, I'm afraid, but yeah, no lies were told. There were literally no lies detected in this entire situation. So let me know you guys what you think about that. And I love how people say that, oh, well, Bia, she doesn't know you. And I'm like, she knows her enough to copy everything that she does. It's just like saying she doesn't know Soweti. We all know that lately her new obsession, her new inspiration, her new mood board has been a combination of Soweti and of course Bia. So for you guys to come out here and say that, oh, well, she's more successful than you it doesn't matter somebody can be successful or can look like they are yeah that's the word they can look like they can seem like they're very successful but at the end of the day they may lack creativity and for somebody who's only a uh, job is to recite i mean the high horse that you're surely putting her on it doesn't match with you know her talents at all okay so yeah let me know you guys in the comment section obviously what you think about that and some of you guys were saying my stories are all like are all over the place i totally understand but like if you have joined me i mean if you've been around for a long time you know that i told you that i don't script these things i just converse with you guys as i'm conversing like as if i'm conversing with my friends and that's how i like to keep it like and if that's not for you I totally understand, but I prefer this way of talking about things because that's how I started this channel. Um, so, yeah. 
so if you're new that's how we do things over here anyway the next thing you guys that we are going to be talking about we are going to be talking about this entire situation obviously with um drake okay it seems like all of a sudden um you know all the men are not messing with drake i do not know exactly at this point what drake has done to these people but one thing for sure they are not messing with this man okay uh first of all jayco was featured on metro and futures album and uh you guys obviously are surprised like what's the what's happening and especially and especially now that jayco went i had to apologize with you know kendrick now it does seem a little bit like jayco might not be messing with drake like that um at least that's what the internet believes so this is what um you know jayco had to say on um you know the album well he said that um my energy was never on some toughest in an ish i was just a conscious rapper who would f any b bleaks get a blasting i turn into a trickster and so obviously yeah this is becoming just so weird you guys and it seems like also the weekend had this to say well he said they could never diss my brother's baby when they got leaks in their operation i thank god that i never signed my life out way their shooters making a uh, tiktoks okay and uh obviously you guys um you know people are saying that well this is because um you know drake at some point wanted to sign um the weekend and so people are saying well this is a subliminal to drake as well and uh as uh expected is because this one is something that i was actually expecting because drake went off on um you know as a rocky by dissing rihanna you know in his previous project so obviously i was expecting some form of response because that was totally unprovoked and i even spoke about it on that channel that i don't understand why drake is still stuck up on rihanna and why he would like literally channel his energy into dissing a woman who was literally living a life and doing her own thing so as if rocky said flaco hit it first son still don't trust you always ask never them had you dropped the latest ish funny how it just came and went and uh obviously um uh, there is rumor on the streets that while well, asa brocky actually did lie down with drake's baby mother first before drake himself and i'm just like what in the fluid swap happens in the industry like because we all know that rihanna has been previously tied with drake and now asa brocky is being tied to drake's baby mama i'm just like oh my goodness so much fluid is getting swapped oh my god let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about all of that okay um people do believe also that there is something that is actually happening uh you know behind the scenes some people feel like well this is industry motivated they are trying to end drag they are trying to start an age train and stuff like that and personally my worry really is people are you know trying to insert Nicki Minaj in the midst of all the saying that well she should come and support drag no 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 please Nicki stay far far away from all this mess this is none of your business the same way that this man you know kept quiet you know when people were out there um you know doing the more during the s train drake was out there also acting funny so please continue um you know focusing on your tour the same way that he's been crickets and he was out there ashamed to promote you please don't step into this entire situation let the man handle it himself okay let him handle it himself i mean he's got a ton of friends even you know i'm a 2000 you know those who were born in the 2000s we've seen him hanging around all these kids and i'm sure they can all step up and support him okay so let me know you guys in the comment section obviously what you think about that speaking about Nicki Minaj it does seem like she has announced that well uh if the club up remix is actually going to be out um you know next friday okay on uh no is it next friday yes it's actually next friday so yeah she did announce that it's the 19th so yeah it's the coming friday so you know she did announce that and obviously uh people are out there saying okay this is a bad move because well taylor is going to be dropping and things like that personally i don't think this is about taylor dropping and i don't think that this single is meant to compete with an album like in what sense like like <laughs> 
that doesn't make any sense okay so let me know you guys in the comment section uh what you think about that personally i'm just so excited and i do know that while she's dropping this not to mean uh that she's out there trying to have like a stream off or whatever buy off with taylor swift uh, that's not it okay and moving on to the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're going to be talking about the transformer coming out there explaining herself once again and this is what i do not get with this woman she stays offline for like a week or five days and she finds the need to come back and explain why she has been online like it does seem like she really does claim for attend crave for attention like each and every single moment she's always wanting the attention and i know that right now she cannot stand the attention that Nicki minaj and the girls are getting hence the entire learning to drive video and things like that and now she's coming out explaining that she's been working and i'm like are we supposed to applaud for you because you've been working like that's what we expect from you that's your job is that not so like she comes here explain, well you haven't seen me online because i've been working because and i'm like well that's your job if you understand what i'm saying together with that being online is also part of your job is that not so i don't know you guys i have not seen any other artist who comes out there explaining themselves explaining that they were shooting magazine covers explaining that they were doing tiktok videos Expl I, I haven't seen any musician who does that I haven't seen any artist who does that. Like she literally wants us to applaud her for doing magazine covers and interviews. Like you want us to applaud a fish for swimming because that's what you're supposed to do. Like under normal circumstances, you're supposed to be recording music. And I guess because they have been spoon, spoon feeding her a lot of things, she like each time she feels like she has used her energy, she feels like, well, she has to, you know, make it known to us that she's working because it's something out of the ordinary for her. Because if she was working all the time, she wouldn't find the need to come and explain, explain like a five day internet break. Like no one is even looking for you. It's not like it's a major hiatus or something like that. It's fine days it's literally five days but hey let me know you guys in the comment section obviously what you think about that so i'm just going to quickly insert her video explaining herself and i'm surprised you guys that she's out there saying that well she has a tight deadline you know for the album and things like that and you remember when she dropped all the, you know those songs of hers she was like well every friday you're gonna be getting something trying to mimic nikki's rollout and i guess when the songs were flopping she decided to change strategy and i don't know is she going to come up with a tour next like what is she going to come up with because i we know she's definitely copying everything that Nicki minaj is doing and we do know that they are waiting for Nicki minaj to you know for a tour to be like outside of um you know the u.s like probably in europe the time that Nicki is going to be touring in europe that's when they're going to come out and she's going to be all over the internet once again and i want you to watch this you guys and uh tell me what you think about that thank you very much you guys for watching um after the inset i don't think we will be i will be saying anything so after the inset it's just going to be me signing out thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe comment and like this video and um until my next one see you a little bit croggy and everything but um i just want to let you guys know because i know that you guys seen that i've been a little bit like quiet and a little bit off the radar and everything I know that um, some of my fan pages and some some of my fan pages and everything have uh, have been hitting up like other of my fan pages or some people that are closer to me and asking me why I haven't been putting out content. Like I've been really quiet this month, and like um, um, even if I'm working right now, I should have some content uh, already pre-recorded and everything. And I wanna, I, I wanna, I understand what you guys are saying, but I also wanna make things a little bit clear because I think that you guys forget that we only have 24 hours in one day, right? Before Easter, before Easter, um, Easter was like what the first, right? Before Easter. I have to realize I was in LA and I was busy every single day. And when I talk about busy every single day, I was doing TikToks every single day. I was doing magazine covers every single day. I was doing interviews every single day. 
I have things that are going to come up and pop up randomly that I was doing every single day. I must say there wasn't not one day that I was in California, which was the whole month of March that I didn't do nothing. Um, every day I was doing something. Uh, it's not coming out now, but it will be coming out. But every single day I was doing something. So sometimes you guys are asking me why well, I don't have pre-recorded content. Well, I was doing something every single day for your information. Like there was not one day that I was off. Right now in April, I'm on a very tight deadline. Not only do I have to complete some features, I have some features that I thought was going to come out this month. And this is something that you guys have to realize. Um, I had two features that I was planning to hold me down this month. However, when I'm on other artists' features, I can't control their dates. Like, like sometimes people be like, yeah, we want to put out a song. And I'm like, well, can we put it on April? Is my month that I'm off. And it's like, oh, okay. Then people have other plans because they want to put it like on their album. They want to put another song first or they want to do something. And it's like, I can't control that. So I had those two things planned. But now I'm doing other features that maybe could come out this month. Um, also, I'm on a very strict deadline. I'm on a very strict deadline because I have, I have, I, I have a date planned to announce my album. And also, I would, I do go to the studio. I be in the studio from like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. to like, 9 a.m. But sometimes I could wake up like at 12 or 1 p.m. and do some content. But unfortunately, these people to like get dolled up or get glammed up or everything because I just been a little bit sick. Like I have like this weird stomach bug and I just keep throwing up. I can't, nothing is like registering, registering in my stomach. It's like throw up or like I have like a weird diarrhea or this weird stuck pain. And I've been Okay, so April is a really tough time for me. Not tough, but it's like I'm on a very strict deadline. All the songs that need features are being sent out. So now is a waiting game to get back the features for my album. Um, and yes, even though I'm in a studio very aggressively, I could pull more social media content. But like I said, I've been a little bit off the weather. So let me just get better. Like, I look like a yellow pill bitch right now. Like, the way I have been throwing up is not even fucking funny. Like, have you ever throw up that you throw so much that you haven't even eaten? So, like, it's just, like, yellow. That's a bad event. And I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck I ate. And I don't I just don't know. So, yeah, um, give me time. Give me patience. Give me this. I got this. Don't worry. Relax. Like, I'm not a robot. I have 24 hours in one day and I'm doing a lot in one day. So yeah, thank you.